Hey baby Blossoms and Titans, what's going on? It is me, Vasori Jade, long time no see guys. I have been working on different um, aspects of my online business and uploading and removing and re-energizing my site. So I've been gone for a couple of minutes or a couple of days, I should say, but I'm here today. Today is a day of re rejuvenation for me. Today is the day of the divine feminine healing. I myself am a divine feminine healer. This is something that I have always been in touch with. And not to say I don't help men, but my calling is always to help the divine feminine energy. Um, I'm self-taught and experienced by life. And that's how I say I, my name is Mama Source as well. But today we're going to talk about being touched by the moon and what that will mean to you. I am most definitely a moon um, witch, a moon priestess, a moon walker, whatever you call yourself. It, it all and all is under the same umbrella, whether you're a witch, you're a priestess, you're a spiritual um you you pagan you norse whatever you are just know that we're whatever you call yourself is under the same umbrella now we're going to talk about um being touched by the moon okay i do have my notes right here so i can give you informed detail on what we going we what we're going to hit the top so i can hit all topics okay of what i am talking about because uh i do smoking I do forget. So I'm trying not to forget nothing. I'm going to dive into being touched by the moon. So, yeah, I got to have my water clear my throat, clear my throat chakra, honey. Let me put on my glasses so I can talk to y'all. All right. So, one thing I do know, know that no one knows exactly when humans begin to observe the moon but it must have been very early early in our development okay because why we say that is it's a couple of carvings from back from 20,000 BCE of a great goddess a great goddess and it has a bison horn with 13 marks for the months on it because it was 13 months in the calendar year back then so it's three figures standing on a bison and they say that they may well represent the three phases of the moon the moon goddess oh uh, this is something that i love to talk about y'all moon work is basically that is one of the things that i do a lot i usually work during the nighttime hours when the moon is in its full extent be it waning, be it waxing, be it full, be it uh, uh, new, whatever. I usually do most of my work during a moon cycle or at night. Now, the sun represents a masculine energy. The sun is bright, it's very who, where the moon is a female goddess energy. So I'm more attuned to the moon cycle. Now, the sun was a constant factor to early humans except for its seasonal rise and fall on the horizon. But the moon was mysterious. She changes her faces and her shapes very often. She withholds light. She gives light during the dark hours of the night so she can go both ways where the sun comes out every day. You see the sun every day where the moon in its cycles sometimes you don't see the moon and sometimes you will see the moon. She illuminates and she's very mysterious. Also, it wasn't long before um, menstruating women learned to count moon cycles, thus creating the first calendar. I know for a fact my um, menstrual cycle comes around the new moon. This year, where last year, let's say it like this, last year, it was around full moons. Now it has 
it has turned and now for the rest of the year my period comes around the new moon do you guys attune to when your period goes on and off that's a good thing because your period most of the time will come during the new moon and a full moon cycle that's something that you should know being a woman back then they were counting um the moon cycles in order to know when their period was about to start again for me i know it's the new moon i know how my body feels i know i start to eat more sweets i know i ache a little bit this is stuff meaning you're attuning i tune to my body as well as to the moon okay however the sun was no help back then the sun in dividing time into smaller portions during the seasons but counting from one moon phase through the cycle and back to the same phase enabled those people back then to plan gatherings and religious ceremonies the cycles of the moon now for centuries women were the calendar keepers we were the priestesses we were the healers which i am now um and the spiritual advisors, which I am now, of the people of the human race because of their ability to communicate with the powers of the moon goddess. Capiche? Now, men learned to read the moon's seasonal passages for use in hunting as well as farming back then. All early people knew that no human was unaffected by the moon and her mystical powers. All right. The moon has always been important to me long before I knew what she symbolized. Always. And I never knew till a couple of years ago, you know, when I became uh, stronger in my, my work, I became more spiritually woke. That's when I started noticing things that how the moon influenced me. I remember back when I was coming up, I lived in um, country, the country parts of North Carolina. Country meaning when you go outside, all you hear is crickets, no cars. All you hear is at night, I'm saying. All you see is fireflies or fire lightning bugs, what we call lightning bugs. Um, you could sit on your porch, the mosquitoes would tear your ass up, but... You would sit on the porch and right in front of our porch, we had an open face, a long porch and the moon dead ass would be illuminating her ass off. And I used to sit on the porch and just be like, it's beautiful. Have you ever noticed you can look directly at the moon, but when you look directly at the sun in its highest beam, it's hard to see it, right? where when you look directly at the moon, it's so clear. I could have sworn, okay, I don't think I'm crazy either. I could have sworn that I seen something walking on the moon because it was so clear back where I'm from during those days. The stars were so clear in the sky. Just imagine it. That is why I knew that I attuned to the moon as well. Some of my um, family used to call me moon touch um, because I used to sit outside and just visualize or just stare the nighttime. The moon in its full effects was where I was always at. Reading a book, my little flashlight, honey, reading the book. I was outside at night most of the time or sitting on my porch enjoying the sounds. So that's a little bit about Vasori too back to being touched by the moon now now everyone is moon touched or influenced some some way or other some just more than others too um about one third of all people have a full moon in their natal natal astrological chart okay well i have to come back and talk that's very deep as well um your natal astrological chart uh, it's a lot of books out there where you can figure out yours but or go on YouTube and Google it. But I haven't did a video on that yet. 
but I will soon. Um, these people are highly sensitive and emotional, such as myself, with intense reaction each time the moon re-enters re its natal sign. Okay? Humans, we as people, we as spiritual people cannot escape the influence of the moon, whether they believe in it or not. Hell, the moon even influences the tide of an ocean. Come on now. It's that strong. Stop playing. Get in tune. It is that strong. Whether you believe it or not, you cannot escape the influence of the moon. This is the thing as well for me. If you know, you know, right? If you believe in it, you believe in it. I know I do. Now, the moon touches the lives of all people in one way or another. All people. Some individuals who will make little effort to obey the social laws or taking responsibility for their lives, the mundane, who are either unsta un unstable or on the edges of being so, allow her influence to lead them into violence. You have a lot of robberies, overindulgence in alcohol or drugs, or you're very antisocial, or what we call harmful behavior. Even the best of us may snap and snarl when the full moon is in certain astrological signs. The more aware, the more spiritual, spiritually woke person we are of her influences, the more we tend to react, okay? Now, the ones that are more mundane and don't know during the full moon, they'd be more, um, what, what I just stated, um, doing harmful behavior to themselves. The policemen, firemen, paramedics, bartenders, and hospitals, they all know that full moons bring more dramatic and dangerous problems. Okay? They all know that. They know during the full moon, they need to get heavy staffed. Not staffed, I said that wrong. During the full moon, they know, I'm from the country, y'all, don't play. But they know during the full moon, they need to be heavily um, employed for everything because most of the time that's when dumb shit happens people do they allow the moon to you know gauge how they feel not me because i'm in tune are you in tune hopefully you are i actually go in the house and don't come out i do my work i don't fool with different energies because that's the time when you argue a lot you you have clashing. I don't got time for that. So me in the full moon, I'm in the house doing work. Um, it isn't only the full moon that seems to stir up human emotions and irrational behaviors. Although the full moon appears to have the most influence, but the new moon also affects humans as well, especially those with mental instability, anxiety issues depression issues, family issues. New moon is the time where your mental stability is wavering. Now the new moon is the second compared to the full moon, which is the top time in a lunar cycle when authorities, policemen, paramedics, um, firefighting, all of that, see an increase in strange and dangerous behavior as well, okay? But the full moon is the leading number one um, lunar cycle that does this. Now, when you're moon touched, the influences and the power of the new and full moons need not be negative at all. You just have to attune and know, okay? Those in magic have long used various lunar cycles to increase their powers of manifestation. I'm going to say that again with my glasses off. Those in magic, spiritual awakening, those who know, right, 
have long used various lunar cycles to increase their powers for manifestations and as well as healing. All right. Now, the greatest proportion of the human body is made of what? Y'all y'all know the sense. So we learned this in high, in school in science class. It's made up of water. If the moon, I just taught Lord, look at spirit. I just said this at the beginning of the video. If the moon affects the oceanic tides and possibly the weather through the moisture in the atmosphere, it is logical to concede that humans are directly affected too because we are made up mostly of water. Let me drink some water on it. We are made mostly of water, guys. So if the moon affects the oceanic tide of a fucking huge ash ass ocean, do you know how big an ocean is? How many gallons and uh, of water it holds? And the moon, one moon can affect the oceanic tides. Do you not know how easily it could be for the moon to affect us and we're made of water? Hmm. Okay. But what has all this to do with the average law abiding person abiding with the way the laws of the land, stable in mind and emotions? History tells us that there were other influences of the moon mystical influences that most people once knew and used to bear used to better their lives. Now this knowledge was forgotten when the modern religions, the modern religions gained control and either forbade their practices, okay? Or ridiculed them into near extinction along with the ancient deities that represented and symbolized the moon, meaning Christianity that, uh, uh, you know, conform religion. That's what possibly could have happened. Well, I think it did, but y'all. Now, these powers of the moon phases were ancient knowledge in a great many cultures around the world. And that same moon knowledge is being used today by pagans, is being used by ceremonial magicians, it's been used by Wiccan groups, it's been used by voodoo groups, it's been used by hoodoo groups, it's been used widely today. Now, certain phases of the moon produce unique energies which can be tapped in by humans through rituals large as well as small. In simple terms, like spell working for banishing, decreasing, or removing problems takes place from around or after the full moon until the new moon. Okay? That is when you're supposed to do that type of work. From the full moon to the new moon, you want to work on that feminine divine healing that I also care about and also love. Okay? You want to work on removing. You want to work on decreasing. You want to work on generational curses. You want to work on banishing a motherfucker out your life for good. That is time. With the day or night of the new moon being the strongest. Okay? So, my son calling me, y'all. Now, spell working for increase, for growth, and to gain takes place after the new moon until the full moon, okay? So from the new moon to the full moon, you want to work on increase. You want to work on growth. You want to work on business things. You want to work on a gain. You want to work on self-love. You want to work on glamour work, that type of thing. This is the 
most powerful for that type of intention. This use of moon magic, magic is so ancient. It's so ancient and it's not new. This is what they used to do and it still works to today. Now, actual moon magic is a little more involved than this simple explanation. That was just an explanation, but it is a little bit more involved, okay? The moon month has traditionally been connected with three aspects of the triple goddess. Do you guys know what those three are? What does the triple goddess represent? Okay. If you're a Titan, you may know this, but if you're a baby blossom, I'm gonna give you those three. The maiden symbolizes the crescent moon. The mother symbolizes the full moon. And the crone symbolizes the dark moon. So you have the triple goddess represents the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Now these three aspects are further joined by specific energy paths. The waning is decreasing and waxing is growing. There are 13 moon months in a calendar year. Now, each moon month is directly connected with a different type of seasonal energy flow. I'm going to say that again, babies. Each moon month is directly connected with a different type of seasonal energy flow. Now, with the goddess coming into her own um, once again, the moon is being more openly recognized for her, her influence and importance in the lives of humans. Okay? Women, the moon, and the goddess are bound, bound together. Okay? Women, the moon, and the goddess are bound together. Women subconsciously know their connection with the moon. You subconsciously know your connection with the moon through your bodies, through your, uh, your period cycle, everything. Men do not have such obvious physical connections. Men do not have that, ladies. Do you hear me? I love y'all. I love the feminine divine. We are some powerful bitches. You hear me? <laughs> Men don't have that. So, okay. Now we're going to jump to um, I'm not going to talk about that part. I talk a lot about I love Chinese culture, okay? The yin and the yang. So I'm going to skip past that because I'm going to come back with a, another video on all of that associations, okay? But one thing I do, I, I stated, the full moon is the most powerful phase and is a time of, of um, extroversion, high energy tasks and work with other people. Now, are you letting the intense moon energy lead you by the hormones that you have? Or are you really seeing your lover as she or he is? Not a fantasy person. Not a fantasy person when you know it's time to move on. It's time to release. It's time to let go. Are you looking at that? Are you really seeing them for who they really are? You should be able to do that during the, during the full moon. You know. You attached to the moon. You know the answer that you need. I'm just here as a feminine um, divine healer just to show you the light. Okay? But I can't lead you. Here you go to the light. You got to know this shit. You got to know when to release something that does no longer serves you and move on. 
Now you can be more easily swayed emotionally during a full moon, totally. But you have to know when or how to control it. You could check the moon cycle before you shop for any items that requires you to do something that you do not want to do during the full moon. Um, if you must deal with someone you don't really um, get along with, stay away from full or new moon during a lot of people with a lot of people with a lot of different energies. Stay away. Don't assign yourself up for that. Chances are you will both be edgy and the communication will be off. You're in arguments, you're in little uh, little wars that don't even matter. It's all because of the full moon or the moon cycle, the lunar cycle. Now, there are benefits to being in tune with the moon as well. So many benefits that I personally have honed in on because I healed that shit I got rid of that trash inside of me. I fixed my my those generational curses because I don't subscribe to that shit no more. It will make you, the benefits of being in tune with the moon will make you grow back stronger from within. It will make you see things at a different angle. There is all interesting, so much interesting information on the moon, but hardly much of it is practical, right? Unless you combine it with magical techniques. Combine the moon with magic. You hear me? Will they do that? Mm -hmm. Combine the moon with magic. You hear me? You feel me? <laughs> so... Magical techniques are a little use of little use unless you apply them in a practical ways to your personal life. After all, magic is for improving your life. It improves your life physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay, that's another one I'm gonna have to say again so you can you can catch it. Magic is for improving your life physically, mentally emotionally and spiritually now to do this throughout a lunar year can be a total challenge you have to be on your shit you have to be on your shit with ladies the lunar year consists of 13 months right so the old calendar um the old calendar back back then was 13 months now it's 12 months um you know that each and every month you're going to get a new moon and you're going to get a full moon. Get you a witch's almanac. Hell, subscribe to my channel. I stay on it all the time. We can't escape the influence of the moon and her powers, even if we don't consciously believe in it. The collective unconscious or the universal mind still holds all the old information from our own past lives and those of our ancestors. The moon knowledge of all those ancient civilizations still can affect our subconscious thinking and our lives in a very subtle way. Each human, however, can learn to access this portion of your mind through deep meditation and thought. Therefore, be more aware of how it is influencing your life. Add this to the fact that the physical moon affects our bodies. It affects our emotions. If it affects our intellect and it seems rather absurd not to work with the flow of the power instead of against it. it. It just doesn't make sense. Life is difficult enough, child. Why not use moon magic to smooth the path a bit? Why not? Why not? When you use the moon in ritual work, of course, well, me, I can only speak for my experiences. I can only speak from how I do work. I can only speak for how magic has worked and approved my life. During um, moon cycles, moon phases, 
I can tell and I know that when I correspond the moon with my magic, things come in better. I get a lot of business leads. I get a lot of subscribers. I get a lot of um, <clears throat> prosperity flow, okay? I get a lot of healing done. I get a lot of women coming to my path asking me, Mama Source, I love your videos. I get a lot of that. I, let me tell y'all this little story right here. I was uploading videos a long time ago, but I kept them private, meaning on this platform. I would draft them out and hold them private. And I had, y'all noticed that I have, I don't know, I know it was over five, 600 videos because I was uploading content at nighttime when my throat chakra, I was open and the moon and uh, just vibing on my words because I knew in my heart, this is something that I wanted to do. But I didn't want to take the step to doing it until I, I was told by spirit to take it out of private and go ahead and make it public. And I worked my own magic, learning the craft. I was watching other people learning from them, reading books. Y'all know I have a big book library. Um, just gaining all the knowledge that I could until I was ready to make myself public. That's what I did. I just learned. And the moon pulled me to do so. Right? So, um, that is, this, this is my, uh, ended up my video on how you correspond to the moon and are you moon touched? Are you the type of person that you know your body? Are you the type of person that you're a divine feminine energy that attunes to the moon? Do you know that the moon and magic, they correspond together? You should know that. And if you did, didn't know that, that's totally fine. Because hell, I didn't either in the beginning. I know now. So if you like my videos, I will highly recommend, because I love y'all too, to like, subscribe, and support my channel. I offer also um, my services with a lot of my spell work that is at my site, visionsbyvasori.com. If you have any questions for me, reach out to me on my website, visionsbyvasori.com as well. And remember to only come into my space respectfully and with a positive energy because I don't, I don't do any other way. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload new, um, new videos. Also go check out my website, linked in the bio. I offered, oh yes, today I uploaded new item alert. I created bundles y'all. I being the spiritual guru that I am, I usually do, when I burn 70 candles for any ritual work, I, for personally for myself, I burn three at a time, which I call a trifecta. So I made trifecta bundles. I made um, duality bundles, which is two candles. Also Arisha bundles, and they are now uploaded and available on visionsbyvasori.com. All my links are listed in the bio. And as always, many blessings to you. Bye, y'all.